G'day hunters, welcome to Te Aroa. We're back out here finally on New Zealand after quite a long time, and as you would have read by the title, you know exactly what we're doing. We're taking on the ferals. That means that the feral pig and the feral goat are the main targets for today's hunt. Of course, if we find anything else along the way, be sure to take it down. But the feral pigs and the feral goats are the main focus. We're going to be starting with the pigs, that's why we're hunting at 3 o'clock in the morning. Very early, so we've got all our night gear going on. But that should make things a bit easier, so hopefully we can find some good trophy animals. But at the very least, we'll help out the population by taking out the ferals. As we're scanning through here, listening to all these guys making a good old racket, I just want to quickly go through the loadout for today. We're using the 223 for the feral goats and 6.5 for the feral pigs. I chose these rifles because, in my opinion, they are the two best long-range rifles in the game. And I want to be prepared for every situation that we might come across. So I feel like that's the best loadout for this hunt. Plus, we never really use them that often, so it'll be really good to give them a go again. So it's still a little dark, but it's too light still for the night vision gear. But I just scared all these little piggies here. This guy there, though, that's a really nice level 3. So if he gives us a shot... I think we're going to try and take it. So I wouldn't mind getting him down. Just to get it started. It looks like a pretty good shot, actually. And there's a black spotted in here. There's, they're all black spotted now. But there was one I really wanted. I don't know which one it was. But if any of them turn, I guess one of them will do. Oh, okay. Take uh, a highly unethical shot on this guy here. <laughs> It'll take him down. I pretty much just want to go and have a look at him, to be honest. That's the main reason I wanted that one down. And here's our nice level 3. And he's looking like a fairly solid pig. And what is that running around out there? Dunno, but... He actually made gold. 101. And yeah, he only just made gold. But that's pretty decent for a level 3 like that to make gold. We got a good right lung liver shot on him. And yeah, that's a pretty good start, actually. And here's this one we wanted to take down. I actually feel kind of bad for the way that we took it down, but... Yeah, nice black spots female. I'd like to get a bigger one than that of one of these guys, because I do really like it. And it's a nice level 4. Quite a small one, actually, for a level 4. But certainly something we'll still try and take down. We've got a good angle on him, so we might as well. And I reckon it might be easier for you guys to see if I do use the night vision scope. So I'll do that for you. Hopefully it'll be alright for you. Bit harder for me to shoot from the ear, but... You could still probably make it happen, and I hit way too far back. And it appears that I do have vital blood, so I might have nailed the shot actually after all. But I completely forgot, the 6.5 really doesn't have good takedown power. And we did manage to get that right lung there. Pretty good shot. Being a single lung shot with the 6.5. No wonder it took so long for him to get down. But this is a nice big brown hybrid. It's got at the top of his estimate, 115. That guy looks really, really cool, actually. We did spook him before, but I don't know if I'll be able to spot it here for you guys. There was a really good level 4 boar that I really wanted to get down. So I am just sort of sitting up here on the top of my hill. Wind is good. And I'm just letting out a few calls. And hoping he'll come in a bit closer over this ridge here so he can take a shot on him. We might even try and shimmy around a little bit more. Try and get a better angle for when he does come down. If I do end up spotting him, I'll make sure to show you because he's a really good sized ball. But they're drinking just down there. So we might even just try and uh, stalk all the way up to there. And then at least we will get a nice close shot. And with the zoom on the night vision scope, I don't really want to take a very far shot. So it could be a pretty decent situation for us. So I reckon that's going to be the go. I tell you, we're getting pretty damn close now. They're just over these hills. So they're going to be within probably about 60 meters right now. And it does worry me a bit that we're getting so close to them. But we won't see them to the very last second. This is the sort of situation I wish I was carrying me bow with. We're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. And try and be as quiet as we can. I think now's going to be the time we're going to drop down. And sneak up as quietly as we can. 
this boar is going to score over 100, so I think he will end up being a nice gold. But I do really want to get him down. But I don't mind a bit of a stalk every now and then. Adds a bit more realism and a bit more adrenaline, I guess you could say, to the hunt. Makes things a bit more interesting. I'm telling you guys, we should be right on top of him right now. Yep, we sure are. Okay, where is he? Right there. That's a big boy right there. That's a big boy. Alright, before he sees us, we are going to take him down. Should be a pretty straightforward shot. And it was. We drilled him straight away. And these guys take off so quickly. Holy. Nice level 3 there as well. If we can get a shot. But I don't think we're going to be able to. They just take off way too quick. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the sort of... Not so much slow pace. But a bit of the stalking action. And you don't want me to cut out quite as much as I usually do. Let me know down in the comments below. So I'm more than happy to include it. I sort of try to keep kills coming thick and fast. But if you'd like me to include a bit more of that stalking and hunting process, calling whatnot, let me know because I can certainly do that. I'm more than happy to do that. This guy here is a nice big 108.8. Got him with a beautiful shot. Double lung and spine. He was not going anywhere, but he was only 60 meters out. Pretty difficult to stuff up that shot. And we do have another really quite a good level 3 here. It's got the same estimate as most of the level 4s, so I imagine it's going to be a pretty good scoring one. I don't really like this scope for taking a shot past 150, but I guess we'll we'll make it happen. We should still be able to do it. And yep, we, we did. No issues there. And if the opportunity presents itself, I kind of want to get this down. It's a tiny, tiny level 1 male. 23 to 53 on that estimate. That's tiny. It's going to mean we're going to have to take a shot like this bit further out with this scope but it will go down whether we got vital or not i mean it doesn't really matter his score is absolutely pathetic anyway but i can't imagine that'll be a vital hit unfortunately but i just want to get him because that is absolutely tiny and that might be something for our room of tiny pathetic trophies but anyway here's this guy here no wonder he dropped so quick. We got him in the lung and the spinal cord. That'll certainly do the job. 105.3. It's another really good feral pig, but level 3. That scored pretty well. And here we go. What a pathetic excuse for a pig. <laughs> Tiny boy. All right. What he's got? 32. 71 kilos. And he's a little male. That is pathetic. We're going to taxi that and put it in our room for terrible trophies, but geez, that is small. <laughs> that is tiny. Okay, there we go. There's another really good level 4 there. 86 to 116. Similar to what the others have been like. And that's a better one. Holy moly, okay. 121 to 152. That's technically a potential diamond feral pig level four so that one there is just gonna have to wait because this guy is taking all priorities at the moment that's a big piggy have another quick squeeze around and that is a black spotted level three over here right there but there's nothing compared to this guy here and he's gonna have to die because we want that big time actually at the very least it's gonna be a monster gold but, yeah, Diamond's 144. So it does have a chance, albeit a very small one. But we'll just uh, ship me in here. No rush. We've still got plenty of time on drink time. It looks like he's actually still heading to his own. And, yeah, just get nice and close and within range and we'll take a shot on him. I'd definitely like to get within 150 meters of him because I don't want to stuff it up with the scope that we've got on. I could switch the Argus, it probably is light enough, but I want you to be able to see as well, and it'll probably be easier with the night vision scope. Yeah, we're about 180 out at the moment. And let's have a quick look as we're coming into render. Still nothing that compares to it. These guys over there, nah. They got nothing on this guy. 
And he's traveling pretty quick. Don't know where he's going to end up heading off to, but we'll walk relatively steady. And you know what? I reckon he's going to go over there. So while we do have a broadside angle, if he does slow down, I think we're going to try and have a crack. Something like that should be okay, and we can see plenty well enough. But it looks like we did just fine there. We did aim a little high, so I'm a bit worried, actually, that we ended up just getting spine. But I'm hoping we clip the top of the lung as well, because I really want to get full score on this guy. And here he is anyway. Pretty decent-sized snorter, but I am a bit worried about the shot. And he scored only a gold. We ended up getting right lung, left lung, and the spinal cord, so it was a good shot. And he's a black gold, which is really nice, but 125. So he's still about... Uh, 19 to be at 19 20 below diamond but that's still a really solid ball so on that note we're gonna head off to daytime and we're gonna go for the other feral that he's on this reserve we're gonna start shooting some feral goats so hopefully there's some good stuff in store there for us I'm not gonna lie it's nice to be back in the daytime but we're probably putting ourselves at a fair disadvantage using the 223 for the feral goats Although they are only a class 3 animal, they are one of the bigger class 3 animals in the game. So, it's going to take a while to bring them down, but I just like the long range capabilities and the flat shootingness of the 223. But we should be just fine. We'll make the most of it. Try and make sure we get within a good range of them. So, we can't stuff it up. And yeah, just see how we go, I guess. The main thing is we get them down, but of course we want to take the most ethical shot we can. I got excited because I finally got to be goat spot, but you look at it. Every single thing here is a level one trivial. That is probably the most disappointing thing we've encountered today. <laughs> Luckily, I got a few more just up the river here. But yeah, that's a real shame. Okay, it's not a goat, but that's a potential diamond turkey. 9 to 11 kilos, level 2. It's probably not going to make it, but there's a good chance that it could. And we've only got 22 handguns, so I'd like to get to around about 100 meters, if we can. And it might run away or walk away, but hopefully it's pretty set in its ways and it does stay there for us. So I really wouldn't mind getting that guy down. We've managed to sneak substantially closer. And he's looking like a really nice turkey, to be honest. We're basically going one for one with the steps at the moment, which isn't great, but we're starting to get within around 100 meters. I might try to get to pretty much on 75, because that's pretty much the longest range I want to take with the handgun. Could definitely go further, but with the zoom and stuff on the scope, I would prefer to get a bit closer, probably even 90 or 80 meters. Never mind, he's gone alert, so we're going to be taking this shot right here. And we nailed it. Perfect. Got him. Ended up being a fair bit easier than I thought, but yeah, well, well, that's good to get him down. Here he is here. Is he a diamond? He's not. He's actually quite small for what I usually get. I usually get around about 4.4 or 4.5, but he only scored 4.3. But two good vital hits, actually, on the turkey with a 22 handgun. Certainly not going to complain about that. We've really not been finding many level 4s even of the feral goats today. I usually find a heap of them, but this is the first one I've seen alongside this guy here. Two decent ones, but this guy's the best. Have a look at his horns there. They're quite nice, but I want to try and get to around about 150 on them. Don't want to take any risks, and of course, we want to try and at least get one lump. But we'll try and get in a bit closer and see how we go with that. Here's broadside, so it should make things a little easier. Okay, we're here at about 133. If the 223 cannot take it down from this range at somewhat of a respectable speed, I'll be switching out because it shouldn't have any troubles doing this, provided we nail the shot. But we're laying down, so we should have a pretty good chance. And, of course, it decided to turn. <laughs> no! That is an absolute pain. That means we're taking a quartering shot now, but we should be able to still get along. Hopefully. Might try and do it again when he puts his head down. That should have been able to penetrate.
That second shot wouldn't have been any good, but none of them seemed to be any good, actually. Yeah, nah. Not saying that was necessarily the fault of the 223, but I think I'm definitely going to be switching out because I didn't realize how underpowered it was going to be against these feral goats. I, I just went for a zip around and I couldn't even find the corpse of that feral goat that I shot with the 223 because it didn't even die. Two shots with the 223 and it still didn't die. I'd say they were both terrible flesh shits, but... Yeah, no, there's no penetration there. Boy, am I glad we switched. Look at that. That is a potential diamond feral goat. Unfortunately, these guys troll all the time. I've shot like six of these and none have been diamonds. And looking at that estimate, diamond is 208. This guy goes up to 213. There's a lot more numbers on the lower end of that estimate, but he's pretty wide on the horns there. So he does have a chance, but I don't think the chance would be too high. But at the very least, it's probably going to give us something to put on the wall. Because that is a pretty big goat. Holy moly, alright. Just in case he is a diamond, I want to be able to say we got him from 300 meters with a 243. Plus the fact, if we go any further around there, we're going to be behind all these trees. And we're going to have to get right up on him to take him down. He's providing us with a pretty good broadside angle at the moment. So if Hunter will lay down and get out of the way, we should be okay for this. I am a bit nervous. Because it is so far away. But we should be okay. And that was fantastic. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy we switched over then to the 243. I probably should have checked the range on the map just to make sure that it wasn't closer. Because if it was closer, we could have very probably hit the spine. But I'd say it was just a perfect double lung shot or maybe even heart. Would you look at that? He's a good sized goat, but he's not going to be a diamond. I can tell already. Oh, I don't think he will be. He's nowhere near as wide as I thought he would be, unfortunately. It's a bit of a shame, but we'll pick him up anyway. I reckon he might be close. And yeah, it's a blonde, which is quite nice. I do like this fur type a lot. Perfect shot, though. Left lung and heart shot. Punch straight through him. We will taxidermize it. We yeah, had 200, still 8 points away from Diamond, which is a shame. That's still a pretty good feral goat to have down. I'm not going to complain about that at all. That's definitely made the hunt so far. Jeez, these guys seem content going for a swim at the moment. Jeeves, creeps. Nice level 4 out there. I wouldn't mind trying to take down if we can get close enough. Just depends if they want to decide to slow down sometime today. They are headed to their drink zone, obviously. But we're going to keep an eye on that guy just in case. I was going to try and get a bit closer, but this would make for an unreal photo. If we can get him to drop in a decent position. So we are going to drop down and hopefully take a decent shot on him. And yep, he landed exactly how I wanted him to. So let's hope we can capitalize on that photo opportunity. It's a pretty decent feral goat too. There we go. I would do wish he was a little bit bigger. But that's still a pretty nice photo. We might be able to get a good one here too if we're lucky, but of course, Hunter's photo bombing as always. But here we go. Good photo there. All right, we'll pick him up. He's only 178. He's only a silver. Quite small for a level four. But we hit him. Through. Oh! Hang on, okay. This is the guy we hit with the 223. Okay, I did not know that. I was thinking, I swear we only hit him once. And we did. We got a good double long heart shot there. But yeah, there you go. We can actually see what we got with our 223. First shot, no good. We shot too high and it hit the scapula. And the last shot there actually hit the pelvis. So there you go. It wasn't the fault of the 223. It was the fault of me. But I think that... With that big level 5, it was certainly the right move switching over to the 243. So we'll just keep that in mind for the future. But anyway guys, I think that's going to cut it for today. It's going to be a very long video already and I don't want to bore you for too long. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and sticking around as we build this community. It's coming along quite well and I'm really happy with how everything's going. So I'd love to have you stick around if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, apart from that, leave your comments down below, like the video, and that's it for me. 
plugging my own channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.